So some big news out of Chelsea today. They've left out Cole Palmer, Romeo Lavia and Wesley Fofana, among others, out of their Conference League squad for the next uh, first part of the tournament. Now, obviously Chelsea have got plenty of players, but the fact they're leaving out their biggest name, certainly Cole Palmer there, probably their star player, tells you all about their concerns about what they call load management, the amount of games that players are playing this season. Now, Chelsea will be in the inaugural FIFA Club World Cup at the end of the season. It doesn't finish until mid-July in the United States and some players could be involved in up to 80 games in terms of either being in the squad or playing. So there's a lot of games to play this season. Chelsea obviously have international players so Cole Palmer as we know he's pulled out of the England squad to face Republic of Ireland this weekend but he will be involved in, in many of the England games. So Chelsea concerned about the, the workload on their players. I think it's smart management by Chelsea. It's a good it's a good idea and a good signal to what is coming from the big clubs that they are prepared to to rest their, their key players, not even consider their key players for, for games in some competitions. Obviously it's much harder for clubs such as Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal and even Aston Villa in the Champions League it's hard to leave star players out of a Champions League squad but I think we will see players that are not using the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup because there are so many games this season I reported about a month ago that this could be the longest season ever in, in terms of club season Erling Haaland played his first pre-season game for Man City in mid-July his season if City gets to the end of the Club World Cup and gets to the final, it will be 354 days long and today FIFA Pro, the, the Global Players Union have released a report which, which sets up their, their concerns about workload, how alarmed they are by the lack of rest. Some players are getting less than, on average, one day a week off in terms of their, their rest and recuperation. So, so many players now are being pushed to the limit. It's getting worrying for the likes of Jude Bellingham, who's come back from the Euros. He's missing games now for Real Madrid with muscular injuries already. So, there's obviously a workload issue. And I think Chelsea being smart, they're being sensible, keeping Cole Palmer and others away from the firing line in the Conference League. And I think they will benefit at the end of the season. I think players like Cole Palmer as well, and Fafana and Lavia will benefit in the sense that they are not being urged or asked to play every game, midweek games, Premier League games, cup ties. There has to be a break point somewhere, somewhere on the line. And Chelsea could be the first club of many that decides to rotate players in different squads and use players for different squads. Maybe like cricket, where they have different squads for different competitions. I don't think they'll go quite the way that way yet. That 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 is a kind of a big jump, but I still think that clubs may start to build squads that are big enough to compensate or to cope with these extra extra demands on their players in terms of competition. So, good move by Chelsea, a smart idea, and they're looking after the players. 